Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs, I hope there's smash and be strong style set up. File one after the rating defending MPX Tag Team Champions, of course. So Flash, part of the matter, part two, I finally caught up with season. And so let's kick about it for a scant, scant few minutes now. Of course, the episode picks up where the other one left off with Barry and uh, August Hart, I guess, speaking on the astral plane, the Speed Force astral. Well, they're in August's mind. And Barry learns his origin and what he wants. Basically, August Hart is fueled by artificial speed. He would like organic speed. He was shown the error of his ways by Bart, who he actually name drops as Impulse. Um, we the first part of this, we got a bunch of adjectives that kind of describe impulsiveness or yada yada yada, but he actually specifically names him Impulse. Um, so he threatens him, hey, give me our organic speed or watch your city burn. I think we've heard that watch your city burn a few times in a few different finales. I guess it's basic evil villain uh, master plan verbiage. Yeah, it is what it is, whatever. Uh, so Barry shares that with the others. They kind of go back and forth on whether they want to do that. They do some battling with the Speed Force clones, or the Godspeed clones. The Speed Force shows up to give them a boost, gives everybody who's a speedster a boost, gives people with latent speedster powers, like Iris, a boost. They go into battle and fight the clones, fight them off, and then we see the return of the Speed Force weapons. Bart's got like Speed Force ninja stars, and uh, Nora's got her whip, and later on we see just, yeah, I'll get to that in a second. So they fight them off, and then they realize that they're going to keep coming back. So they eventually settle on giving August his speed back, hoping that maybe um, after a few heart-to-hearts, because August, the, the, the August we see, doesn't know anything about that. He doesn't have his memory of it, apparently, when Godspeed fractured himself in time. That's the reason why the memory losses. So this is a good dude. He wants to be a good dude. He's afraid of the fact that he's a bloodthirsty killer. They decide to give him his speed back. They use the old tachyon chest thingamajigger, which has popped up a few times. They give him his speed back. Um, Cecile hopes that he will remain. August kind of says, I'll try to, you know, be the same guy. And he doesn't. Turns out he's like, I like being the bad guy. Gets his speed back. And is about to wreak havoc. Um, Barry tells the kids to stay put. He's going to go and counter him. He's got a master plan. His master plan is... Thawn, Return of Thawn, brought back by the Speed Force, and we get two more Speed Force weapons because they <laughs> encounter Godspeed with his little, like, the, just Speed Force lightning lightsabers, basically, like, and we have basically, like, a Star Wars battle in Flash, so it's just, that was kind of like, I mean, I guess, as I said before, um, I understand with Speed Force weapons, we're trying to do different stuff, there's only so many times you can have them super speed and super punch or whatever, or run around in circles like a tornado or counter, you know, counter current to whatever's blowing. So we have to do different stuff. But I'm just like, really? We're gonna go like full on like Jedi um, and Sith in this final battle, which is like what we did. Um, they beat Godspeed. Thawne is like about to kill him because Thawne is Thawne. The only person that can kill Thawne is, or kill Barry is Thawne. Um, and then Thawne's like, it's just you and me. He tries to go after Barry. Barry's like, super faster than the reverse flash which saw, shocks him of course and he's like what did you do and he's like got faster didn't you and he's like oh i will and then he runs off because we know he's going to be back hopefully they save him till the absolute finale if season eight which i hope it is is not the last season then if it's season nine save him for that just don't even bring him back until the series finale two-parter three-parter whatever it's going to be then we got some stuff with Joe and Kramer. Apparently Kramer is a meta that can absorb the powers or mimic the powers of metas that she's in close proximity of, so that'll be a thing. They investigate uh, next season. Allegra got pulled out of the, the doldrums that she's in by Chester and of course the power of the pep talk. Um, save the day. And in the end, Barry and Iris renewed their vows. Bart sang a song. And that's the finale. Um, it was cool to see more John Wesley ship as Jay Garrick. You can kind of see that parental role he's going to play in Bart's life in the future. So that was cool to see. Bart just brings a, just a, an energy to things, which I've said. Just introduce new, fresh characters, new, fresh energy into familiar tropes and plot situations, stuff like that. It can feel fresh enough. And I think it did with this. The Speed Force being like, do, you know, Deuce X, um, giving people speeds, stuff like that that was kind of like eh. 
Um, Speed Force Weapons was really eh. <laughs> um, so it, was just, it wasn't terrible, um, but it wasn't one of the best. But I think I liked it enough. Um, there was no season ending cliffhanger, which I saw on some boards some people were complaining about. Um, we know that the first five episodes of next season are going to open up with us revisiting different characters. It's kind of kind of function as a quasi sort of crossover, but not really, because they can't do crossover still because of COVID protocols and stuff like that. So the showrunner interview that I read with him said that, um, you know, reiterated the idea, because we heard that a while ago, but he reiterated the idea that there's going to be this sort of mini sort of crossover, or just kind of guest stars. Hopefully it's not just Carlos Valdez coming back as Vibe. I just want him to stay gone. Oh my gosh, let him be gone and done with the show. Um, we see that apparently they're going to keep the graphic novel format according to the showrunner. Um, there's going to be uh, an all new, to like a, I guess, made for TV villain in the first half, and then some probably more comic booky stuff in the latter half. Again, unless this is the final season, hopefully it's not Reverse Flash. Remains to be seen. It's apparently going to be more romance relationships. Joe and Cecile might get married. We're going to deal with Kramer and her mimic ability. Um, kind of brought her full circle because now that she is a meta, she can kind of, you know, she was so anti-meta, but now that she is a meta, the shoe's on the other foot, she kind of understands things or sees things from a different perspective and kind of, you know, apologizes to Joe for being the way she was and vows to be better, basically. So that was okay, I suppose. Um, again, I wish, I mean, we get a resolution to Allegra and her situation. Hopefully we don't just drop it totally. Uh, if we had her go through this stuff with her sister, I really wish, again, like I said, that it, was, that it would have been pushed to season eight, but it is what it is. I like the idea of just things being final um, and starting the next season off fresh. Um, and uh, they say that they just uh, broke bread in the writer's room, basically, and they're getting to work on the scripts and stuff like that. So hopefully they have a nice, good, cohesive plan. As I said, COVID kind of messed things up um, last season kind of impacted things this season, so I'm hoping that as the world kind of gets back to some semblance of more of a normalcy, that the, the things can just be better structured, better planned, and just better executed overall. Um, that's just my hope for it, because again, I mean, Flash could be better, it's not to me, um, but I think it could get better, could improve in the, the these next couple seasons, which I really, again, I hope, season eight is the last one. Season nine, absolute last one, and just, the showrunner said that he thought the show could go on for several more seasons. Um, I don't think so. I think it's... Seriously, dog? <laughs> no. No, sir. Stay there. Sit. Sit. Seriously? Sit. Good boy. See? I took you like three times. I love you. Stay there. Stay. But all in all, it was, it was a decent ender of an up and down, very up and down season, so... Remains to be seen what they kind of bring us in the future. Are the kids still going to be there when the show opens? Um, is Jay still going to be there? Probably not. I can't wait for him to show up on Stargirl. <sighs> um, but it remains to be seen kind of what they do with this crossover, guest star type of thing. Is that going to be disappointing or executed well? It remains to be seen. Will this made for TV, made for Arrowverse villain be cool or executed poorly? It remains to be seen. Will the back half villain be well executed or done poorly? remains to be seen. So many questions about this show. Uh, but I guess we'll all find out together in months from now when it, you know, premieres. But anyway, those are some of my thoughts on it, scattered as they often, often are. What do you guys have to think? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on social media. Talk to me there. Talk to me here. Till next time, let us geek.